Hello everybody, welcome to my Christmas curiosity shop. Don't know whether that's what I'm going to call this video because people will be like, what on earth is she on about? But it's basically things that are slightly unusual or quirky and not your typical run-of-the-mill Christmas presents. I have to say that since having Angelica and Ted, I have started buying a lot more wacky things. I think because I feel like I can buy them with the excuse that it's for them, but it's not really, it's for me. It's like I'm reliving my childhood through my children. Don't know whether anyone else has done that, but that seems to be what's happening. Also, I think maybe I've always liked this sort of stuff, but because we've always lived in mid-century modern houses, it's very minimalist and sort of clean lines and nothing very fussy. And so I've had to sort of pare things down. And now that we're moving to a Georgian house, it's very, you know, old and creaky and it's got nooks and funny staircases and things like that. Uh, I feel like this stuff will fit in better. Now there were two things that sparked off the idea for this video. The first was this amazing Alice in Wonderland wall sticker. It's a beautiful line drawing of Alice in Wonderland and it sticks to the wall and it looks like it's been painted on. And um, it was actually for a beauty shoot that I did for my website that I'll link to below. But because we are in a rented house, I didn't want to stick it to the wall. So I can't wait to put that up in Angelica's room, but that sticker, basically sparked off a whole load of things that I was doing, like a Wonderland beauty shoot for the website, and um, just got me looking at loads of things online that would be really nice for Angelica. And then I realised I had quite a few animal-themed, Wonderland-themed things already. You can see the polar bear table in the background. That is for Angelica when she gets her new bedroom. You can get those in loads of different animals. They're so cool. Uh, you can get a tiger, I think there's a dog, a cat. The cat is very cute. My friend was joking the other day when she came around and she was like, oh my God, how much animal stuff have you got? And I thought, yeah, it is getting a bit ridiculous because I had some rhino wall heads, um, wall lamps, rhino head wall lamps. And I had a pug lamp. I've had loads of different things. Owl bookends. <laughs> got to stop. It's becoming ridiculous. The other thing that triggered off this video was the fact that so many people kept asking where this cushion was from. Now this cushion is by the very, very talented Rory Dobner and he uh, does mostly ceramics so you can get mugs and tiles and things like that and they've got his illustrations on. So, so beautiful. Uh, but he only does this cushion in a cat and I think maybe a sausage dog. The cat is the best one. And I think the cat is the best out of all of the products, actually, because it's just so striking. You can't, I got that at Liberty's. I don't think they stock the cushion anymore, but they do things like teapots and cups and trays and tiles. And they also do them at amara.com, uh, which is a very cool interiors website. But yeah. That's what sparked off this video. So a few other things to show you. First of all, the polar bear table, and it makes a really, really nice kids side table. I mean, it says side table for everyone, but personally, I don't know, it just, it feels a bit young for me. I, I don't think I'd put it in as a piece of furniture for myself. Some people might, that's absolutely fine, but it doesn't quite fit with, with my sort of style, if you can call it that. Now, on top of the polar bear table, there are a few beauty things that are amazing and really quirky and just really pretty and gorgeous. First of all, Jo Malone. Jo Malone, their Christmas range, is just so unusual for them that I was really taken aback. So they've got this really sort of candid matte pink perfume bottle this year as their limited edition. And the fragrance, green almond and red currant, is just beautiful. It's got that sort of fruity, uh, sort of fruity sharp note to it, but then that really dark undertone, like warm undertone. And it reminds me a lot of Pomegranate Noir, which is one of their best sellers. Um, 
every time I smell someone wearing that, I just think it's so, so beautiful. That feels like a different, slightly different updated version. It's not quite as strong, um, but the scent does last quite well. So that's a great one. And you can, they've got sort of little mini soaps and that's got the pink and then a sort of green striped packaging and the candle for Christmas as well. The packaging is very, very cool. And it, I think it's very Alice in Wonderland. And then behind that, you've got the Wren um, Rose Otto gift set, which has got shower gel in and a body lotion, which I have talked about in a different video. And then also uh, on the polar bear, we have a Fornacetti candle. I don't know whether I've ever mentioned Fornacetti in a YouTube video, although I've talked about them on my blog before, that it's not just the candle inside, although the candle is beautiful. Fornacetti are really famous for their actual designs, so you can get everything from sort of bar stools to trays to ashtrays to boxes for incense sticks, um, uh, ceramics, they do loads of different things and it's very very designer, lots of iconic designs, I mean if you flick through you would probably recognise quite a few and go, oh right okay that's for necessity. So, uh, you know, you're paying for a, sort, a, a little piece of art, I suppose, not just a candle. But yeah, expensive. All comes at a price, doesn't it? However, if the budget doesn't stretch that far, this is a new discovery for me, and I found out about this brand through Jane at British Beauty Blogger, because she wrote about a similar candle um, from this brand, but it's got flamingos all over it. Now this, that landed on my toe, is the Sir Hoppingsworth candle and it's from Ashley and Burwood and I just think it's a really pretty design on the outside of there. You know, obviously very much Alice in Wonderland themed. Anyway, it smells a bit like an old musty library. I know that doesn't sound amazing when I say it like that, but it is. It's like old musty books. You know that smell? And sort of slightly like old tobacco and battered leather and the just smell of, you know, wooden floors and, oh, I just think it's gorgeous. It's not going to be for everyone. If you only like floral scents, for example, if you only like roses or vanilla, then, you know, that won't be for you. But I think it's great. The last thing that's up on there above the polar bear is uh, a little mouse lamp, and that's from Saletti. And Saletti is an Italian at Design House and they make lots of really really funky, funky, cool house stuff. Uh, lots of different lamps and home accessories, ornaments and everything's got a little bit of a quirky twist to it. So for example they do these um, resin hanging monkeys and they're holding light bulbs. They're a lot more expensive than this. But then they've got this little selection of mice and I thought that perched on top of a stack of old books, it looked really, really nice. Look, I know a lot of this stuff is very off the wall, offbeat. It's not gonna be for everyone, but you know, it is my quirky curiosity shop, so there we go. Couple of kitchen things to finish off with. Both of these are from Anthropology, And um, I just thought this was so lovely, look. A rabbit key bottle opener. I mean, it's like whatever, the kind of chintzy clutter that I've tried to spend my life avoiding, but uh, I do really like it. I think it feels, I don't know, I just sort of lost the plot really, I think, with, um, with things that I've been buying. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to me. <laughs> you look good in a flat lately, though, won't it? And I just think, Imagine if that was your key for a hotel. That's what I first thought when I saw it. I mean, A, it's so heavy, it's pretty much a, a lethal weapon. And B, you wouldn't actually be able to get the key into the door because it's stuck to a rabbit torso. Um, but I did think it was very cool, just as an ornament. My house is gonna be so full of clutter. Poor Mr. AMR. Finally, the, uh, the climax of this madness, which is my Beast's Feasts serving bowl. Check out this. It looks like it's from Beauty and the Beast. 
I saw this online quite a while ago, but I think it might have been from the uh, US anthropology site, and I wanted it, I wanted it so much, but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna wait and it will go into the sale, and then I can sort of justify it more a little bit because I haven't paid full price for it. So, you know, if it is a bit silly, then so what? I've had a bit of a discount. However, I waited and waited and waited, and then on Black Friday, they didn't have any left anywhere, online, in the stores, whatever. But then I went into the store in Bath, and they had one there with 20% off. So, you know, it's absolutely crazy, but imagine serving the Christmas rose potatoes out of that, or soup, or anything. I mean, it's just mental, really, isn't it? Yeah, that is it for now. And this, I think it, this is going to be my only real um, sort of YouTube gift guide. I know it's not really a gift guide, but I've been doing them on the website just because it's been chaos here. So make sure you go and have a look at that category over on my website and it'll bring all of the posts up. And I shall see you next time.